Welcome back everyone, Ryan with the Idaho Crypto Group here today with another educational video talking about decentralized applications, also known as dApps, and uh, they're creating more efficient and secure consumer applications and software. So if you don't know what a dApp is, I'm gonna go ahead and explain it. In basic terms, the most basic way you can put it, it is a app, an app on the blockchain, really. So there's games, there's um, exchanges, there's casinos, there's all sorts of stuff, you know? And so the difference between a regular app and a dApp is the peer-to-peer -peer network. So, you know, if you were gonna download a game, Flappy Bird, Candy Crush, whatever, off of your phone, you're gonna be downloading it from like the App Store or the Google Play Store who has all the power, who can charge you whatever they want for these apps. And they hold all the power. Now in the dApp world, in the cryptocurrency and blockchain world, um, these apps are on the blockchain and it's run completely peer-to-peer. -peer. So, you know, it's from um, person to person, peer to peer networking. That's all about what the blockchain is. It's where, you know, there's no middle mediator that is be able to charge you fees and, and stupid amounts of money for, you know, in game purchases and that sort of thing. Um, you can still make in game purchases on dApps with cryptocurrency, but it's peer to peer. You're purchasing straight from like wallet to wallet um, and that sort of thing. So you can kind of see here it shows like the consumers and users. It's all um, through your internet service provider right over to another peer versus going up into a cloud like the app store google play store so that's what cryptocurrency blockchain dApps aim to do they aim to take the place of like the app store or the google play store and uh you know uh, eliminate those middlemen and so there's a few advantages uh to dApps and so for one they are open source now what this means is that everyone can read the code of the game um, so you know that there's no tricks, hidden tricks. You know, if you thought there was, you could look into the code of the game. It's completely public material. Anyone can look into it, so that builds trust in the system. It is also distributed, meaning that it is, you know, it's a peer-to-peer -peer network. There's no central power. It's um, person to person. Everyone has their own power, and it's decentralized. Again, no middleman, meaning that, you know, it's building trust in the system. People are able to, um, verify uh, transactions through nodes on the network which is a little more of an advanced topic that we'll talk about in a later lesson but basically what that means is that these dApps will continue to run as long as there's one existing person running their computer to support the network um, of the dApp. A little confusing again we'll talk about it a little bit later but the the bottom line the most important part to get about decentralization is that you know it's transparent, okay? You can see the transactions in the games, you can look up transactions in wallets, you can see who's doing what to make sure that there's no fraud, no hacking, and it, it builds a much more secure and fair, um, you know, video game or, or application world where everything's transparent, you can't hide things, people aren't hacking it and that sort of thing. And one of the biggest things about dApps that I really enjoy is that they're incentivized, meaning that you are able to earn as you support the network or play the app. Um, so I'll show you an example here in a minute, but there's a lot of casinos. Um, I, I won't support or you know suggest gambling, but there are a lot of casinos where you can um, stake money and receive dividends. Um, there are games where you can build up homes and characters and get paid out in cryptocurrency every day just from having your character. So they're incentivized and that really, it's a big thing to me because there's a large, uh, a large majority of population that play video games, but they aren't really earning any real world value from it. I mean, you get these in-game items and in-game, uh, you know, dollars, but you can't really take them anywhere else. But with this incentivized, um, you know, DAP process, you can go into one game, uh, play a fighting game and earn these coins, take those coins to the market, sell them, buy different coins, put them into a different game. And it just creates this fluidity between different DAPs where you're able to transfer money around and it adds real world value to these items. So um, I'll, again, I'll show you an example here in a second, but these dApps are really pioneering the new age of software. So there's a bunch of examples here, um, Tron Raider, Traps. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys the Chibi Fighters one. We actually partnered with them. We have our own armor in the game, which I'll show you. But this one is an RPG game. It's a very robust game. We really like it. I'm just showing you this to show you an example of how dApps work. So it's called Chibi Fighters. Uh, it's a role-playing game. You get these characters. So I've got you know this guy here. Um, this is my all my different warriors. You can name them funny things. Uh, but the cool part about each of these warriors in the game, each of these chibi fighters, is they are their own asset on the blockchain. Each one of them has their own like transaction ID. You can send these players to someone else's wallet address just like you would a token, and they'll have the player in the game. So again, it adds real world value to these players because you can trade them, you can send them, you can sell them. One guy I just saw was selling um, a really rare uh, chibi fighter that he got for like 15 Ethereum, I believe. So you can do the math. Ethereum's about 
you know, 270 bucks. So that's a lot of money. You can build these characters up and cash them out. And so again, it, it, it's incentivized so you can actually earn from these games. And um, you know, there's it's transparent because you can't, you know, someone can't go in and create a false character. You can't ha you can't create false transactions on the blockchain. So uh, it really creates fairness and transparency in these games. And so same thing, you know, you have an armory. Each one of these weapons, you have their own transaction ID. You can send these weapons to someone else's wallet simply by clicking here. And just like sending a token, you put in their wallet address, send it off, and it's gone. Uh, so really cool, really quick, and really efficient. You can sell weapons on the market as well for Tron. Really cool because you can earn money from playing this game. So right here, uh, dApps also have something called smart contracts, which is just um, electronic contracts online that facilitate the payouts of these dividends. And so in Chibi Fighters itself, as you play games, you actually earn these gems that you're able to put into what they call the crystal cave, which is like staking your money. And then every week, you actually get paid out Tron crystals, which you can trade straight back to Tron, trade to Bitcoin, take them down to a Bitcoin ATM and cash out. So you can see this guy uh, made five bucks today. Not a whole lot, but the game's still growing and it's, it's very new. Um, but again, it's incentivized and you can literally earn real world money from just playing this video game. Uh, and so you have like daily rewards. They, they, they're gonna pay you out and that sort of thing. And so it's really cool to be able to make that connection to um, being able to earn from games and give you know younger generations a, a real motive to playing these games. And like, like I said, we, we really like this one. It's a really robust game. There's missions that you can send them out on that bring you Tron, all sorts of different ways to earn money. And so like I said, we actually partnered with this game. Um, we kind of sent them a message and they really supported what we're trying to do here as far as building the economy and cryptocurrency and uh, mass adoption. They had, were able to put in a hat into the game. You can see right here with our own ICG logo on our little guy. Uh, it's pretty cool, you know. Uh, you can actually get one of your own if you go into the transmog shop in this game and you do have to purchase it with our own ICG token. But it's really cool to build partnerships like that and be able to get uh, armor in the game. Eventually, they said they're gonna give us like helmets and chest plates and that sort of thing. So really cool, but again, that's a quick summary of, of what a dApp is and, and how they work. Uh, you know, to sum it up, they're open source, transparent applications that are um, much less susceptible to hacking and fraud because it's on the blockchain. Everything has to be verified by other people, other nodes. And it just, it's, it's pioneering the new, the new frontier of, you know, um, trust in, in video games and being able to earn and, and have real world value from these games. So um, feel free to check out our website, IdahoCryptoGroup.com. We actually have a, a list of some of the dApps that we use here. And make sure to like and subscribe, show your support, uh, leave your Tron addresses in the comments below. We get, love giving away free coins. Also keep in mind, when we hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube, we are doing a huge crypto giveaway. So make sure to share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.